a big part of our management plan around cheetahs is to go into the enclosures while they're inside. And that's to make sure that the cats are comfortable with being around us and to make sure that we're comfortable with being around the cats. A cheetah typically will not attack an animal that is not a reasonable prey item. So that means if you're small, you better think twice about going into a cheetah enclosure. If you're big, like dad, then cheetahs probably aren't gonna think about attacking you because remember, their primary weapon is their speed. So they don't have the claws that the other cats have or the, the sharp claws that other cats have. They don't have the huge jaw muscles that other cats have. They're not equipped to fight large animals. They're equipped to take down little gazelle. So you have to think about whether or not you're the size of cheetah food. And as long as you're not and you respect them, they will generally move out of your way when you go into the enclosure with them. And you usually will move out of their way too. So as long as there's that mutual respect, we can go into the yard with them. Uh, so they're not friendly to me. They're fun to work with, but part of them being fun is that they're not friendly. Uh, and we have to learn ways to deal with them even when they don't want to deal with us. The cheetahs love other cheetahs. That's about all they love. They don't love me. They know me and they know my voice and they know my face, but they don't necessarily like me. So they're, uh, they know me as the guy who feeds them, obviously, but they also know me as the guy who holds their food away from them or who <laughs> crates them to take them to the veterinarian. So they, we, have a, we have a relationship, but they don't love me. <laughs>